The outside noise surrounding Iowa football's upcoming schedule might be louder than it has ever been, but this program is not letting that noise creep into their locker room. It's nothing but focus and motivation to make this team better than they were last season, and it all started this week as they are three days into fall camp. I don't think any of us are looking at this year any much differently than last year. You know, we uh, it's a clean slate right now, um, and, and again, I think, you know, Outside of the first two seasons, you know, we've really had an opportunity to have, have a successful season and a good football team. And uh, again, not that those teams weren't successful or good, uh, but, you know, I'm talking about getting to good bowl games and having a chance to really, you know, be in the race in November. And that's what it's all about. Let's start on the offensive side of the ball. Last season, we did not really see a healthy C.J. Beathard, but this year he feels 100 percent and he's extremely excited to finally get those legs moving. It started, you know, it started in practice. How much could he do? I mean, when, when we got ready to play Northwestern, and we didn't, you know, we didn't make a big point of this or any point of it. You know, he didn't practice until Friday morning. We didn't know, we didn't know if he would play a quarter or, or whatever. And it's, it's great to know. It helps my confidence level, knowing that I can do stuff with my feet and able to, to get out and run and. And move in the pocket. Uh, anytime I feel that, that you know, I'm feeling that good, I can do that. It, it, it helps my confidence level and helps us, uh, you know, helps us be able to do things as an, as an offense as well. Now, what about the guys who are going to be behind the quarterback, the running backs? With LaShawn Daniels Jr. and Akram Wadley going head to head at the depth chart right now, they both think they can play a pivotal role in this offense. We know that that you know to do him well. That we got obviously we got to pick up slack. Obviously, me. Uh, Akram and Derek, you know, we all have to do an excellent job in the backfield. You know, we have to go out there and make plays because that's that's what our position is based off of. So, I'm trying to be um, consistent with holding the ball, consistent with catching the ball, receiving, and um, just consistent, but not comfortable. I'm not trying to get too comfortable. That's how you get. That's how you get your spot to. Mm -hmm. Onto the defense, we see a very experienced Josie Jewell back on the field. He was one of the youngest captains voted in by his team, and he feels extremely honored to have got that. I just feel privileged and honored that uh, you know the coaches chose me for that, um, and I'm you know I'm happy to uh, try to lead uh, this this group of Hawkeye football team. I mean, you, you hope that every year coming in every year, um, you know, we just hope to you know do the small things right, be disciplined, um, and stay focused throughout the year. The secondary stays tough with Desmond King returning for his senior season, but on the other side is Greg Mabin, who thinks he can make an impact as well. I've definitely accepted my role as a leader on this team and on this defense. You know, uh, I already know that teams are going to be, you know, taking shots my way just because they're going to try to avoid the Desmond being the Jim Thorpe winner. So, you know, I've been preparing for that all off season. You know, I'm going to be preparing for that through camp. And, you know, as the season rolls on, hopefully I'll be able to rise to the challenge. We are officially full speed ahead with college football. I know I'm excited. Everyone is excited for this upcoming season. So we will see you inside Kinnick Stadium on September 3rd. Reporting outside Iowa Media Day, Taylor Brooks, Daily Iowan TV Sports.